Thanks to Obsbot for sponsoring this video. Hey, who are you? Good to see you. Who's a good camera? So obviously you've got a lot to say about Obsbot, but because they're awesome and because you're awesome and I appreciate your guys' support and watching these videos, uh, I want to do a giveaway. So you have a chance to win one Obsbot Tiny, which can be yours, but in addition, you could also win a $500 MX gift card that you could use for whatever you want. Uh, made it very easy, open to anyone in the world. All you gotta do, like the video, Leave a comment down below. Let us know what you would do uh, with the Obsbot Tiny, but most importantly, leave your social handle so we can contact you when you win. We'll let it run for about 10 days and then we'll pick a winner. Uh, but also all the information too will be down in the description. So you can always just follow that. All right, so this little guy is the Obsbot Tiny. Uh, it's an AI powered webcam that won't talk to you and isn't unfortunately alive like Wally, -E, uh, but it will move along with you on its own. It will work for Zoom meetings, for Google Hangout, for Microsoft Teams, for whatever you are video chatting with. It will work and it will follow you, uh, but it does more than just that and some cool stuff, especially for me. So generally the core of it, it's a webcam you know what webcams do, but it does that very well. But overall, it's not like a webcam like you've been used to or probably were on the wait list for uh, over the past 18 months. This one will move and track you with two axis stabilization. So it's physically moving. It's not just doing sort of digital zoom and pan like you see sort of some others do. And it does all of that really smoothly and without any noise at all. Uh, it's also really easy to set up. It uses USB-C, thank goodness, um, and not micro USB. You plug it into the computer and plug the other side into the camera, and um, I mean, that's that's it. This also has gesture controls. It's not like a you know BMW where you gotta do like this scene to make the volume go up. These ones actually work uh, and work very well. There is no need to run the software that it comes with if you don't want to. All right, so we got a computer that's behind me. Uh, let me show you. And so I talked about uh, how easy setup is, but let me show you. I've got a USB Type-C cable plugged into the back of this iMac. I am going to plug it in. Very uh, complicated. Light's gonna change from blue to green, and like it just did, and that's it. It is set up and working. All right, so I'm just gonna open up Zoom. We'll hit new meeting, as someone probably uses camera for. And I can already see that it is indeed tracking me as I move. I didn't have to do anything at all. It knows I'm a subject. For some reason, it didn't catch on to me. I could hold my hand up. It would turn blue, then green, knowing it's locked on. And then if I sort of put this down, or if I moved, it will, it will follow me no matter what I do. Uh, but since it's a webcam, you might, you know, it's not the most flattering angle staring up at your nose. Uh, you might want to put it on like your laptop or on the back of your desktop or your monitor. Um, it gets a little adapter to make that nice and easy. Clips right on top, um, but we'll clip right onto it, and then it'll use the tracking software to give you that more traditional angle. All right, so now you can see it's moving on with me, but if you don't want it to do that, hold your hand up a second time. It'll go from blue to green, and now it's locked in place. And now it'll be more like a static webcam. If you hold your hand up again, it'll start doing the tracking. So at least it's giving you the flexibility to do what you want and the camera can change for your needs instead of you being stuck with, you know, one set of images or a camera that's always moving around and making people potentially nauseous. So if you want to use it for the full sort of video conferencing suite, maybe your computer doesn't have the best microphone set up. Uh, Obsbot actually, as you covered, there are two microphones built in that'll work from the three meters away. So if you want to have a conversation and you want to get up and move, the microphones are still picking me up. It just makes things really easy to do. So you're not always sitting in front of your computer. Sometimes you're standing back, sometimes you're giving a presentation. If you're a teacher, you just want to be able to move around during your video calls. Um, this has you covered a very cool way. So I mentioned early on that they're gesture controls. So if I just make an L with my hand, zooming in, I pull my hand out. So now it is zoomed in and locked on me. If I do that motion again, it'll zoom back. Um, but it's also going to follow me, even if there are other people in the room. So we're shooting here, we got JD and Alec. 
it is still following me when I'm moving around, which is very cool. And even if I walk off frame, it's still gonna follow me. I go behind Alec and I pop back in, it still follows me. So if you are talking, giving a presentation, it involves you pacing from one side of the room to the next, this is going to work perfectly. It's going to look like you've got a cameraman. It's gonna look really like JD uh, is doing your video for you, which is absolutely awesome. So no matter where you are, what you were doing, uh, Osbot Tiny, as you covered, and when you wanna zoom back, it's pretty simple. And you're all done. So, probably not surprisingly, it works as a webcam, obviously, uh, and a presenting tool, but actually you can extend it to use other sort of pretty creative use cases. So, for example, in the creator space, specifically with YouTube, uh, there are a lot of one-man crews going out and doing freelance work, making channels, unboxings, whatever. One person does all the work. For the first like 600 videos I ever did, it was me and a camera holding my hand out trying to record stuff. I could have used things like this. And generally that one person is doing everything, right? They're setting up all the lights, they're shooting, they're editing, they're doing everything to make that video happen. And a ton of times, at least for the ones starting out, you don't have the budget to hire a second cameraman or you've exhausted all of your buddy's friend requests to get all those behind the scenes shots. So for 200 bucks, this can be your buddy and it can come with you on every shoot. You can set it on a table or attach it to a light stand or a mini tripod uh, with a quarter inch screw on the bottom. And it's gonna work great. Not only will it follow what you are doing, it'll do it in really good quality too. So it's not a 4K webcam. Uh, it outputs at a max 1080p resolution. And so while it can be set up without the app, it does have a dedicated app uh, for Windows or Mac OS, which does unlock some additional features, which for sort of BTS stuff, you may want to consider. So here's the app, it's up and it's working. What's showing video on the back is just Zoom, but it'll work with any video chat application you are using. So you can turn that sort of AI tracking, you've got control over it here, you can lock it. But what I really like is you've got full gimbal controls here. So if I want to sort of move things around very smoothly and pan, get myself here in focus and I was shooting B-roll or something and I didn't have a slider or, or a gimbal, I can get real nice slow pans that can control the speed. And let's say you've got, you don't want JD and Alec in the shot, you can go ahead and just hit reset and it'll reset itself right back. So you also have control over zoom as well. And obviously it's a, it's a digital zoom, but you do get sort of full control. So you can come in real close uh, or zoom out whatever you want. You also get more granular controls if you would like them. So this is where I think things get really interesting and is really useful for in the creative space. So tracking mode is awesome. So I've got standard mode right now, but if I wanted more headroom, for example, I can go ahead and give myself more headroom. Motion mode, if I'm gonna be moving around. If you ever recorded screens a lot too, and you see a lot of flickering happen, you get control over that as well. You get a lot of sort of customizations that you can do inside of the app. And most of it's just moving toggles, so you can really get things dialed in um, relatively easily. So that's the Obsbot Tiny. For 200 bucks, it does a lot of things really well. So what I like, it's very simply plug and play. You can send this to your mom or your grandma, they can plug it in, it could work. But if you wanted to do more granular things with it, you want to use it as sort of your wingman, your B cam, you can do that as well. The motion tracking, the gestures all worked awesome. The gimbal controls all worked as advertised. It's 1080p, not 4K, but you can make it work. And especially for that $200 price point, I think it is absolutely on point. If you would use the Obsbot Tiny, when you enter the giveaway, let me know in the comments what you would use it for. I really like having it, especially in a day when I'm doing a ton of video conferencing. The webcam that's built into my laptop is a potato cam and is very, very, very bad. So this steps up my game, makes me look more professional and all for what I consider to be a pretty affordable price. So if you wanna pick one up for yourself, uh, Obsbot's actually gonna give you $30 off, making this even more uh, of a screaming deal. We'll put a link down below.